Hey everybody, welcome to Feast in the Middle East. I've got Isa. my brother. Isa, that's me. That's him, and we're making his favorite thing in the whole world, which is... Cookies. 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 He doesn't we're love cookies. Cookies. Yeah, but not cookies. any kind of cookie. We're making an Arabic shortbread cookie that's melt that melts like butter in your mouth, and it's called what? I said S F cookies when F I was a cookies. kid, but uh, they're really called Gereibe. Gereibe! These cookies only have three ingredients. It's yeah? unbelievable, yes. Wait, really? Yes, I'm not kidding. Oh. One cup of ghee, which is like semna in Arabic, which is clarified butter, two cups of flour, and one cup of sugar. I use super fine sugar. You can also use confectioner sugar if you want. However, if you use confectioner sugar, you might have to add a tablespoon or more of flour What's so that the confectioner sugar? confectioner sugar is like icing sugar. It's that super soft, okay. powdery, so powdered sugar. snowflake kind. Yeah, powdered sugar. Okay. We're adding ghee. Now you can make your own clarified butter if you want, but it does require a lot of sticks of butter and a lot of patience and cleaning up mess. So I just buy ready-made ghee. So the reason why we use ghee instead of butter is for two reasons. One is it prevents the cookie from burning in the oven, uh -huh. right? Because butter has a higher smoke, uh, I mean ghee has a higher smoke point so it doesn't burn and brown. And second, it makes the cookie very soft. And actually, there's a third reason. It gives it a longer shelf life. To that, we're going to add the super fine sugar. Go I want to do it. something. Yeah, do, do. add the super fine sugar. All right. OK, what we're going to do, so, so this is the key, the trick to making the cookie super soft, like powdery soft. Do uh -huh. you know what it is? It's putting it in a food processor and letting it run these two ingredients for such a long time Just that those? they're whipped up and creamy. Just those two things first okay. until it's super whipped up and creamy. Whip OK, go. let's just let it go. So we're going to just let it go for a while. Just dance, stretch. Okay. When you add the flour, you don't want the flour to be rolling that long because the cookie will turn out tough. You want it to be oh, soft and tender. So you basically pulse it until it kind of makes a flour. And this has been pre-sifted. The flour I already sifted to make it that much nice, nicer and more powdery. So I'm just going to add the flour actually in like uh, two batches. So we're just gonna kind of pulse it. Pulse it till it makes a dough. Yeah, I wanna do something. Yeah, do it. Okay. Do it while I get some stuff. Okay, I, I know I mentioned that there were only three ingredients, but this is totally optional. Just a little drop of rose water, okay. water will make it um, taste authentic. So just like a tiny drop, like boink, that's okay. it. Just a little bit makes just it. Just a little goes a long way. So I'm just gonna pulse this until it's done. All right, awesome. So now we've got that part. You're doing the co the cookie shimmy. I could tell my brother's excited about cookies because he starts mm -hmm. doing the shimmy. Cookies. Yeah, for those who have egg allergies and want to enjoy these cookies, you can eat them because there's no egg, and that means you could also eat the batter. All right. So I'm just putting it in some plastic wrap and putting it in the refrigerator. Good. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm putting it in the refrigerator for one hour you need to let it harden before you make it into shapes. Now, guess who we're making these cookies for? We're making them Ooh. for mom. Really? For Mother's Day. Okay. Wait. You want to, okay, you want to, here. You want to eat this part? But that's mostly ghee, it's mm. kind of gross. It's like you, cereal. You just ate all the good, it's not cereal. That is cereal. Cookie dough cereal. You always have to clean up the rest, especially since there's no egg. Make these into like little mm. cookie crisps. So what you want to do is there are a couple of traditional ways to shape it. There's the S way and then there's the diamond way. And then you could do any other way you want. So here, so grab some dough, like a, about a golf ball size. And you just kind of want to knead it until it's until all the cracks are gone. Eat Don't it. eat half of it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just kind of roll it. Like, you know, just roll into it. Into a little poop shape. Into like a poop shape, uh -huh. yeah, because we like poop cookies, right? Yeah, okay. Just kidding. And then you shape it like that, uh, like a, like the letter S. S. Isn't that cool? You shape mm -hmm. it right on. And then some people put, they'll put like an almond in there. I'm just putting a little pine nut in there. There, and then there's the diamond shaped one. Now the diamond shape is a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna just kind of shape it like this. Kind of flat, like roll it up and then flatten it. Oh, I've seen that. And one. then and then you cut it with the knife like that. 
like that, okay? Is that a smiley face? Well, that's, kinda... that's his smiley, he's making a smiley face. It looks well, this silly. dough is melting quickly, so oh, if it starts melting on to... you, yeah. we have to work fast. Okay. So we're gonna start working and making these cookies as quickly as ball? possible so we can eat them. You're gonna do it on lower heat than traditional cookies at 300 degrees for about 20 minutes. You don't want these cookies to turn brown. That's why you put it on low heat. You also put it on low heat so that the cookie won't crack. If you put the heat too high, the cookies can have crack, cracks in it and it's not very attractive. You see how pretty these cookies are? Those look great. That's, that's what it's supposed to look that's like. That's what it's supposed to look like. In Latin America, they have a cookie called alfajores, which are basically the same oh. idea as gareba, but they put um, dulce de leche or like a caramel in the middle. And what they do is, so I bought just store-bought dulce de leche and I made the circle one. And what they do is they put it in the center like this. These are really popular in um, Argentina and I believe Colombia. So Latin American peeps out there, let me know. So they put the dulce de leche in the middle. They put the other one on top, covered with uh, powdered sugar. Sandwicha. It's off sandwicha. <laughs> but anyway, I think these are going to be perfect for Mother's Day. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. yeah what somewhere. do you think? What mischief are you up to? Hey, um, well, we're supposed to surprise wow. you with you didn't this. Tell me to um, come and help. Well, you used to. Well, you used to. Well, I think I got him. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to surprise you because you always made us eth cookies Aww. when we were growing up, and we want to repay the favor. Mm -hmm. So happy Mother's Day. We love Aww, you, Mom. Thank you. Now, now. <laughs> so sweet. Thank you. Now, the true test though is, do they taste good? Just you know, are they good? You're not Actually, faking it? Is? Yeah. Do you buy them? Or no, I don't buy cookies like mm -hmm. that. Wow. I'd like to know where they buy cookies like this. You make them better than mine. Oh, come on. Mm. Cookies are more no, these are really Okay, awesome. he's going to have to test the cookies. Mm. They're so soft and they're so, oh my God. <sighs> Mother's Day is about it's indulging. A As a matter of fact, I expect to be cookies indulged, too. hint, hint, mm. by my family. Thanks, guys. Actually, Please. Subscribe to our channel if you like what you see. If you want other cookie recipes or other dessert recipes, leave it in the comments below. Let us know what you like, right? You'll like this one. This is my favorite, one of my favorite desserts. He's very popular. Well, Join us on uh, Facebook at Blanche's Feast in the Middle East, on my Instagram page at Blanche Media. Support us on Patreon so that we could keep giving you videos uh, more often than we're giving you right now. Because, uh, you know, wh whatever money you give us on Patreon, we just throw it into the production budget and we just crank out more videos. That's just how it works, simple as that. So thanks again for joining us, Sahtan. Try these cookies, tell me what you think. Awesome. And happy Mother's Day to all you beautiful mothers. Take care guys, we're gonna have a cookie fest. You shouldn't have, thank okay. you. That's so good.